Hi everybody. Happy Thursday. Hope you all are having a good week. Um, this video tonight, uh, uh, for the first thing I'm going to do is, is do a shout out to one of the members of our community, uh, one of our friends over uh, in Ireland, uh, Keith, over at uh, Keith's Models and RCs. Uh, several weeks ago, I had sent Keith a, a model kit. Um, since they he has a hard time getting the American uh, model kits over here, he had mentioned a particular one that he liked and so I just got it and sent it to him um and uh, you know didn't really expect anything in return but uh Keith uh nice guy that he is uh he did send me a kit in return and I actually got that kit in the mail I believe it was on Tuesday uh and so I thought I'd show you uh what he sent me it's really cool uh, he sent me the Tamiya uh, Toyota Celica GT4. Um, I've looked through this kit already. Um, it is an amazing kit. Uh, it is not a curbside kit. It's got the full engine detail. Uh, you can do either uh, right hand or left hand side drive on it. Um, it's just a, an amazing looking kit. Um, I'll just kind of take the top off of the box here. Um, it, it's just, it's a great kit. Uh, I just, um, I'm very, very thankful. So I wanted to say thank you to Keith. Uh, it's very, very generous, um, for you to send this to me. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And if you all are not subscribed to, to Keith, that's again, that's, uh, Keith's, uh, models and RCs. Um, go over and, and have a look at his channel and, and give him a subscription if you're not already. It'll be well worth your, well worth your time, uh, to subscribe and, and, uh, watch his, his videos. Uh, and so thank you, Keith, uh, very, very much. Uh, I'm gonna, um, you have set me up when you have your, uh, GT group build, uh, in 2022, this is the one I'm going to hold back to do, uh, to do that, uh, that group build. Um, and so, um, I'm going to have a hard time waiting that long, but, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to save it especially for, for your GT group build. So thank you very much, Keith. All right. And then I've gotten a couple of other kits here in the last, uh, couple of weeks to couple of days. Um, I was in Hobby Lobby the other night and they had their, uh, had their kits on sale for 40% off. They've been doing that, um, pretty regularly now since they've stopped the 40% coupon. Uh, and there's a kit that I've had my eye on for a while. So since it was 40% off, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And I'm sure most of you have seen this kit. It's not not really a new kit. I think it's a new, it's a newer, um, uh, repop, uh, of this, of, of an older kit, but, um, the 77 Ford cruising van, um, just reminds me of a, of a van that my dad had when I was a kid. He had an old Ford Econoline, uh, van that he, um, it was a cargo, it was basically a cargo van and he and a, a guy that he worked with, uh, redid the inside into like a, like a van. And we, we traveled quite a bit in that van uh, to different places. So, um, I wanted to, to pick this, this kit up and, and, uh, and build it here, uh, sometime. So we added that one to the stash. And then the, um, the third kit, the last kit that I got, I actually got in the mail today and uh it's this one this is a an a, an old pyro um kit this is a 132nd scale uh it's a 1906 renault town car um i think you know charlie mack he, he does a lot of the brass era cars and and uh he's kind of gotten me uh interested in those and then I don't know whether I should admit this in public or not, but, uh, my wife and I have what are watching Downton Abbey and, uh, 
this is one of the cars uh, or very similar to this one uh, that they have in that show. It's really, really just a really cool car. Uh, and so um, I thought I, I wanted to get a one of the old Renault uh, turn of the century cars. And uh, it appears to be all complete. It was previously opened. It was previously owned. But uh, it, uh, it appears to be all complete. A very simple instruction sheet and uh, what I thought was kind of cool is instead of chrome uh, a chrome tree uh, you have a brass tree um, I'm not sure that I'll keep that particular brass I may uh, I may strip it and and paint um, paint the brass on it but I thought that was pretty cool that it had a had a brass tree um, I've never built a pyro kit before Never built a 132nd scale car before either, so uh, this will be this will be fun, um, and so I, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, that is my shout out to Keith um, again. Keith can't thank you enough for the very cool kit. Um, just it's just it's great, and uh, little stash update to add to that. So. Uh, you all have a great rest of your week, and I hope to have an, an, at least one update uh, here in the next couple of days. So you all take care, have a great weekend, and we will see you on the next update. Bye.